You have so much love in your life. You radiate love. Do you ever feel lonely? So I, there's different types of people. Some people drain in gatherings. Some people recharge mm -hmm. in gatherings. I'm definitely the recharging type. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm an extremely uh, social creature. I, I recharge with intellectual exchanges. I recharge with physical exercise. I recharge in nature. Uh, but I also can feel fantastic when I'm the only person in the room. That doesn't mean I'm lonely. It just means I'm the only person in the room. And I think there's a secret to not feeling alone when you're the only one. And that secret is self-reflection. It's introspection. It's almost watching yourself from above. And it's basically just becoming yourself, becoming comfortable with the freedom that you have when you're by yourself. So hanging out with yourself. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people who write to me, who talk to me about feeling alone in this world that struggle, especially when they're younger. Is there further words of advice you can give to them when they are um, almost paralyzed by that feeling? So I sympathize completely and I have felt alone and I have felt that, that feeling. And what I would say to you is stand up, stretch your arms, just like become your own self, just like realize that you have this freedom and breathe in, walk around the room, take a few steps in the room, just like get a feeling for the 3D version of yourself. Because very often we're kind of stuck to a screen and that's very limiting and that sort of gets us in a particular mindset, but activating your muscles, activating your body, activating your, your full self is one way that you can kind of get out of it. And that is exercising your freedom, reclaiming your physical space. And one of the things that I do is I have something that I call me time, which is if I've been really good all day, I, I got up in the morning, I got the kids to school, I made them breakfast, I sort of you know hit the gym, I, I had a series of really productive meetings, I reward myself with this me time. And that, that feeling of sort of when you're overstretched to realize that that's normal and you just wanna just let go, that feeling of exercising your freedom, exercising your me time, that's where you free yourself from all stress. You basically say, it's not a need to anymore, it's a want to. And as soon as I click that me time, all of the stress goes away and I just bike home early and I get to, to my work uh, office at, at, at home and I feel complete freedom, but guess what I do with that complete freedom? I just don't go off and drift and do boring things. I basically now say, okay, whew, this is just for me. I'm completely free. I don't have any requirements anymore. What do I do? I just look at my to-do list and I'm like, you know, what can I clear off? And if I have three meetings scheduled in the next three half hours, it is so much more productive for me to say, you know what? I just want to pick up the phone now and call these people and just knock it off one after the other. And I can finish three half hour meetings in the next 15 minutes just because it's the want, not I have to. So that would be my advice. Basically turn something that you have to do in just me time, stretch out, exercise your freedom, and just realize you live in 3D and you are a person and just do things because you want them, not because you have to. Noticing and reclaiming the freedom that each of us have. That's what it means to be human. If you notice it, you're truly free physically, mentally, psychologically. Manolis, you're an incredible human. Uh, we could talk for many more hours. We covered uh, less than 10% of what <laughs> we were planning to cover, uh, but we have to run off now to the uh, social gathering that we spoke of. With 3D for, humans. With 3D humans. What a concept. And reclaim the freedom. I think, I hope we can talk many, many more times. There's always a lot to talk about, but more importantly, you're just a human being with a big heart and a, and, and a beautiful mind that people love hearing from. And I certainly consider it a huge honor to know you and to consider you a friend. Thank you so much for talking today. Thank you so much for talking so many more times. And thank you for all the love behind the scenes that you send my way, it always means the world. Lex, you are a truly, truly special human being. And I have to say that I'm honored to know you. I have like, I, so many friends are just in awe 
that you even exist, <laughs> that you have the ability to do all the stuff that you're doing. And uh, I, I think you're a gift to humanity. I, I love the mission that you're on to sort of share knowledge and insight and deep thought with so many special people who are transformative, but people across all walks of life. And, and I think you're doing this in just such a magnificent way. I wish you strength to continue doing that because it's a very special mission and it's a very draining mission. So thank you, both the human you and the Robert you, the human you for showing all this love and the Robert you for doing it day after day <laughs> after day. So thank you, Lex. All right, let's go have some fun. Let's go.